Good morning, good morning, my nasties. Welcome to another vlog. Yes, you are hearing white noise in the background. It is a chilly morning and I cannot let my little bean suffer, so I have his space heater on. He's had his breakfast. He's now drinking water if you can hear him sloshing about over here. But it is icy in desert land. There is actual snow around the mountains, which means it is space heater time. So Bentley has a little space heater. And as soon as he's finished drinking water, he's going to go plop his little behind in front of the space heater. So that's what you are hearing. We are prepared today. This is my second cup of, you know it, my boyfriend, the Earl Grey, Harney and Sons today. And I'm drinking uh, the... Imperial mm, Earl Grey. It's so good. Is there such a thing as a bad Earl Grey? I don't know. But anyways, welcome to another vlog. Today, 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 we have, duh, work to do. Uh, I have a Patreon page to work on. I have, actually, technically I have two, but I think I'm only going to get to one. I have a Patreon page to work on. I have a couple of orders to package. I have my new project to work on. I have a new coloring book to work on. Uh, I may or may not get to a color in chat today. I am continuing my monochromatic series of color in chats. So I may hop on that. And that's it for the, for the priority things. Uh, I do have secret project work to work on. I mean, today is going to be a busy day. It's, I, they're always busy days, but um, <laughs> I'm just, I'm having difficulty getting the words out because I, I have my secret project to work on, which I will be revealing in due time, of course, but then I have my new coloring book and there's just a whole lot of moving parts to that one, which again, you will hear about later, but just to recap, Patreon artwork, order packaging, new coloring book work, potentially a new color in chat, and we shall see what else. Oh, you know what? I'm expecting some art prints to arrive within the next few days. I am going to be hopping out of town, though, uh, tomorrow. So this, this vlog may be spliced. But yes, Patreon work, order packaging, new coloring book, potentially new color in chat, and uh, new art prints that we need to sign, among other things. But that's what we're going to do today. So let's get on with the vlog. How cute is this? How cute is this? As you can tell, she's very spiky. She's she's covered in well, covered. I use that loosely, but her the edges of her outfit are edged in fluff. It is icy cold today in desert land. If you can hear my the white noise going on in this clip that is my space heater. We've got the tea going, we've got the space heater. It takes ages for it to actually look and feel like winter out in the desert, but we do have snow in the surrounding mountains. So when I walk outside, I can actually see snow. It's beautiful. I don't have to touch it because ew, ice, cold, me, vampire, nope, needs the warm weather. But all of that to say that I was inspired to create a winter themed coloring page for my Patreon patrons. Now I am going to be creating another page, but she's also going to be a winter themed. No Christmas, no holiday because your girl's not a big holiday person. Do I enjoy holidays? Mm, I mean, I enjoy seasonal decor and such, but I'm not big on the Christmas and, you know, the holidays. And I say Christmas because that's the big one, right? But I'm just not, I'm not big on it. Decor, kind of, sort of, but other than that, not really. But I am all about seasonal changes. And so here's our ice queen. Now, if you are not somewhere where that it, somewhere where that it, Jesus, if you are not somewhere where it snows, get your words out, little lady, get your words out or you just have an aversion to ice, this can be some kind of, I don't know, crystal goddess lady thing. I mean, crystals exist in caves, right? So it's chilly deep down in the cave systems. If you've ever been on a cave tour, you know, it gets icy down there. Lots of bats, lots of ice, stalactites, stalagmites, crystal clear water, all of that. So she can be your little cave crystal princess, whatever you want, but 
I created it with the intent of being an ice queen, you know, ice crystals, all of that. So patrons, I hope you dig this one. Uh, if it is not already up by the time this vlog is up, then she will be very shortly because she's all done. I just have to upload her to Patreon. So if you are not a patron, no worries. You don't have to be a patron, but if you are interested in the monthly pages, then I suggest you become a Patreon patron. All right, let us get on with the day. I just wanted to give you guys a little, a little peeky peek because she's done and I love her. All right, you guys, I am on a mission first. And there I am, <laughs> a quick view of my outfit in someone else's window, but we are going to make the round. TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, wait a minute. Alright, let me get situated. Um, wanted to jump in the car and let it warm up while I gather my thoughts. So, TJ Maxx, oh my gosh, my poor dusty car. I haven't washed it in over a month as in washed it and well no it just rained so it got a quote-unquote free car wash but I haven't vacuumed dusted in over a month because I was sick I was out for the count for about what two three weeks awful so pardon the dust it shall be removed I promise um I'm going to be making the rounds at TJ Maxx Marshalls Ross home goods and there's a hobby lobby in this same shopping center so we're gonna swing by there as well because i'm looking for a couple of things uh one of them is for my live videos that i am planning to begin filming broadcasting i suppose is the proper term not so much filming but broadcasting uh in early of 2023 because i've been waiting until we reached 3,000 subscribers we have passed that number by a few so i figure i'll give it a nice little buffer just in case anybody decides to leave between now and early january we will still have a few over uh 3, 000, if that happens so you know right on 3025 3000 and you know 50 ish i think would be a good spot to start doing the lives again just in case people decide to leave um but yeah so oh my gosh my car glass my windows need to be cleaned as well because again it rained and some people might be saying carla stop apologizing for being a normal person and having a dusty car the thing is i'm not a normal person and i don't like to have things dusty and crusty for longer than it is comfortable <laughs> and my car especially because I spend uh, not a lot of time in my car but when I do spend time in my car I like to enjoy it and I don't like it to be dirty so car is warm uh, let's go to the store I chose not to film while I was walking around in the stores because it was just in and out and lots of doubling around aisles and doubling back and digging through stuff because you know those stores and right now the absolute worst time to go to TJ Maxx especially you know TJ Maxx Marshalls all those places it is the worst but I managed to find what I was looking for we have our columns yay so I know I know I know I know I actually already technically own columns they serve as decor in my bedroom but I wanted more and one of them in particular I need as part of my background for my live videos because my sign, my live sign will be sitting on top of it. Would you like to say hello to everyone? Hey dog rat. Oh, are you digging through my boxes? How dare, how do, oh. So, as I was saying, uh, I was interrupted by El Pucci, but ah, uh, the life sign is going to be sitting on top of one of these columns. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, refer to my Vlogtober slash Vlogoween playlist from this year, and it was an early video in which I mentioned to you guys that I was anticipating back in October by the end of the year, or at least close to the end of the year, early next year, reaching 3,000 subscribers. 
So to get ahead of that, I ordered a sign that says live. Watch the video. It's really cute. I was really excited about the sign. And now it has a home on which to sit. So success. Yay. I also purchased a few other things, but they're for a secret project that I can't talk about. You know, one of my things, one of my annoying projects that you don't hear about until I am just about ready to uh, launch. So stay tuned on that. It's well, well, we'll talk about it another day. But yay, columns. Woo, column. Hello, hello. Interrupting the vlog. Yes, I am off camera because I am currently covered in gloop. I am, it's a face mask. It's, you know, a face mask. And it's all gloopy. And I'm not going to be on camera gloopy. But that being said, we are not here to talk about me anyway. Oh, well, look, you get a view of my, my sleepy little gremlin down there. That's his space heater which you hear in the background, he loves that thing. I get angry with him when he sits this close. So usually I back him up a little bit, but then when I walk away, he's like, he inches forward. He's like, she's not gonna notice. And then I notice, and then I push him back again. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we are here to talk about, oh my God, my, my, uh, that, the, the sign over there, that is what we are here to discuss. You all, if you were following me during my Vlogtober slash Vlogoween shenanigans back in October, I did upload a episode in which I unboxed my live sign. Okay, I'm just, I'm not going to be able to, oh, there, there, she figured it out. She figured it out. So there's a vlog episode in which I unboxed that right there. And I let you all know that yes, indeed, I'm not going to fail you. Uh, I had mentioned in passing years ago, was it about a year ago, maybe two years ago, who knows, that at 3,000 subscribers, I maybe I would do live video, right? And of course, you all never let me forget it. So it stayed in my brain and I thought, okay, we're creeping up on 3,000 this year. I bet I will reach 3,000 by December and in fact we did. So we are over 3,000 at this point, just a few. We have about 3,015 at the moment, which every time I upload a video, I lose two people, two to three at least, right? So that number will, will <clears throat> excuse me, that number will fluctuate, but I figured by the time I reach 3,025, 3,050 people, Losing five or ten here. We are still going to be comfortably over 3,000. So we are safe to do live videos I have not yet uh, figured out how I'm going to handle my background The reason that the angle is so awkward today and you can see my space heater and everything. look at this Look at this little boop right here Damn. him He inched. Did you see that he inched even closer than he was a second ago? I swear he's such a fiend um, Don't you worry though. He ends up mo oh Oh, you know, we're talking about, you know, he moves on his own anyway. When he gets too close, he gets too warm and then he'll, he'll circle around and he'll sit back a little bit. So he's okay. He's okay. It's on a very low setting. He's fine. He's, <laughs> let me explain to you what babies we are. It is in the seventies today in the desert and we are both needing the space heater. Isn't that gross? It's, you know, low to mid, I think it's actually the mid seventies right now in December. And we're like, oh, it's so cold. We're such desert people. Anyhow, as I was saying, uh, the reason that this angle is so strange right now is because over there you can see I have, okay, is she gonna, is she gonna, well, she gonna figure this out. Uh, that is my, I have a, a window there, a large window, and I didn't want to show you outside my window because of course my, my curtains are drawn right now and you can see right outside and we don't need any kooks and crazies knowing where I live. So that's why when I do film my lives, it will be a little bit more centered. But you guys, we made it. We've made the 3000 mark. So the plan moving forward, and I will discuss this later, is early in 2023, likely in January sometime, we are going to try a live video. I'm not sure when, I'm not sure what time, because the thing is, is I have people plastered all over the world. So there is no right time, there is no right day, everyone is on different schedules. It, it's just crazy. So what I'm going to do is just whenever I have a moment, whenever I feel like it, I'm going to test out a live video for about 45 minutes to an hour, see who, if anyone shows up. 
if nobody shows up to my first live, uh, I will not be discouraged. It will be fine. I will attempt it a few more times at different times on different days to see uh, what ends up working out for people. And uh, if at that point we still only have, you know, two, three people coming into the lives, I will just hold off until we have a few more subscribers. So we'll try it again let's say at 4,000 subscribers, and then we'll try it again at 5,000 subscribers. When I see that I have enough of an audience to actually sustain a chat that's more than, you know, two people, because that's what I anticipate showing up, because typically, you know, with a chat, you get what? Is it 2% of your audience, if even that? So I'm not expecting large numbers to come into the chat, but I'm hoping for, you know, 10 people at least, I will consider 10 people to be a successful chat. So. When we can get at least that number, then I know that we have um, reached a, a number for me to schedule, excuse me, dogs, now there's this one's gonna start now. Uh, when I can get at least 10 people that are actively participating in the chat, then I will begin scheduling maybe weekly or monthly chats. We'll see, but uh, that's gonna do it for, oh, you can't see my, you, you can't see my, the gloop, you can you can almost see the gloop. Let's let's get off camera just a little bit. So there you go. I just wanted to say thank you, everyone. Yes, we have indeed reached three thousand. So keep an eye out for announcements, and I will talk about it more in future vlogs. And yes, I will be <laughs> on camera. I wasn't planning to film this, but it's because I was setting up the background and I wanted to see what it looked like. And I put up my little sign and I thought, oh, I should talk about it. You know, even though my face is covered in gloop, I'm still gonna talk about it. They can see my. They can see my funky little disco tree. They could get a look at the gremlin wherever he went and they can see what is to come. Okay, let's get on with the vlog. My God, one little teeny tiny snippet ended up being a 10 minute conversation. Let's carry on. So we are doing a little bit of time traveling in this video. The next day I took off, I left town for a few days and now we are on the way back. I just wanted to insert some footage of the beautiful snow on the mountains which surround Palm Springs. Do you see all the snow? That is about the extent of the snow that we get. We get none down in the valley, although they do in the high desert, but of course I live in the low desert. But I have to say, every time I leave Palm Springs, it pains me a little bit, but I admit that every time I leave, I have just little tinges of Ah, I'm happy that I'm leaving because then when I return, this is what I get to see. So when I was gone, uh, it was raining where I was and I was there for a few days and then coming back here, I got to meet the crisp, cool, snowy desert air. This is probably my favorite time of year in the desert. I love springtime because of all of the flowers, but I love the weather during the winter. It's just the right amount of cold it's warm-ish during the day and then it is cold at night and I love it. So I hope that you are enjoying these little peaks at Palm Springs. Every once in a while when I do leave, I try to give you guys a little glimpsy glimpse at what it looks like, where I live, and voila, here you go. And today I managed to capture towards the end of this little clip a peek at the visitor center, which is a historic building, as well as the iconic Palm Springs welcome sign. Well, it doesn't say welcome, but it says Palm Springs. That's the one where all of the tourists and all of the Instagrammers and everyone and their mother takes a photograph. And would you believe I've been out here for so long and <laughs> I've never taken a photograph in front of that sign. Can you even believe it? You'll see it in a minute. Anyways, this is my favorite part of driving home, rounding this gigantic craggy hill soon as you round that hill we are almost home so enjoy the final few seconds of this clip and we will get back to the vlog as scheduled so technically this vlog was filmed over the course of about a week and a half but who cares it's the magic of youtube all right i will see you for the rest of the vlog i will see you later Welcome to the desk, my nasties. Let us package some orders. Yes, I am wounded. You see these wounds here? 
They are related to my newest project. I've been working on, this is one of my secret projects, right, that I've been working on for a couple of months now, and today it got a little bit violent, but we're okay. The wounds are fresh-ish, but they, they are, <laughs> ew for the language, the, the blood has congealed and we're okay. I'm not going to bleed all over your orders, I promise you. I have disinfected and everything, we're good. But uh, you'll hear more about that project next year because it relates to my art, to my boutique. It's just, it's a whole big thing. But right now, we are going to package orders. My boyfriend, the Earl, is here with me. I have been, I've, I recently stopped drinking coffee again. I've been doing that a lot where I just put it away. I just stopped drinking it altogether for a month or two at a time. I don't know why I do it, but I do. We are fully in tea mode, I guess, once the weather cools down. I just, I love the romance of having tea bags in my mugs. Mm, I guess, I don't know, I'm just ridiculous that way. But we are drinking Earl Grey today. I am all about the Harney and Sons. I placed an order through their website because you can't find the good Harney and Sons at Target, right? So if you just, just a tip, if you purchase the Harney and Sons tea at Target, hop onto their website. That's typically where I tend to purchase it because the quality is much better. Different distributor from what I understand. From what I understand. <sighs> she's off the coffee, but she's had about 10 cups of tea today, so <laughs> caffeine, it's still there. But anyway, I've been drinking Earl Grey and another one called Victorian London Fog. I like that one. They're very subtle. That's the thing. Once I get back into tea, I realize just how subtle they are, and I miss my, my dark and bitter black coffee, but whatever. I'm bringing all the darkness and the bitterness. Who needs the coffee? Let's go ahead and package some orders. I have a couple of really cute orders. One of them is bittersweet. Well, they're both bittersweet in a way. Uh, so let's get on into it. The first one, first person on the guillotine today is the lovely, the fabulous, the delicious, the delectable. And to this day, I still haven't learned how to say your name. And I think you do it on purpose because you never correct me. So I think you enjoy listening to me squirm. I love you for that. Sabine, Sabine no idea gorgeous I love you this is also gorgeous I also love her one of my few remaining originals she is going bye bye she ordered this original this we don't see too often right because I only have two available or two designs available in my store acrylic my cute acrylic pins these are so cute you guys uh, I don't make them often. I it, The reason why, well, we'll get into it in a second. Well, let me show you her order. One of the few remaining gold Ralphs in this size and in this finish. She also ordered two of my Autumn Devils and one Tiki Girl pinup. So let's get those packaged up and ready to go. And I will talk to you about acrylic. That's what they're called. They're not acrylic. They're not acrylic, okay? Acrylic. Uh, there's there's a whole story about why I named it that. It's just, um, you guys know I love disco, right? And I love that kind of synthetic glamour of the 70s and the 80s. And there's a band called Chic. Very famous disco group. I suppose they're more of a group, not a band, right? I don't think they play any instruments. But anyway, Chic. I just love that word. It's chic. And there's a whole story about how they, they, it's a cute story. Just a little, little disco history for you here. Um, cause you know, vampire, I may or may not have been there. So maybe I saw this with my own eyes. I don't know. But, uh, because we're pretending to be human, uh, the story is that Chic, the group, they, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a cute story. They could not, the long and short of it, I'm just, I don't know why I'm stalling. I'm trying to look for things on my shipping cart and I can't speak and package at the same time. So the story is that the band was rejected from Studio 54. They were unable to get into Studio 54. They just, they wouldn't let them in. Maybe they weren't cool enough. You know, they weren't chic enough to get into Studio 54. And so they devised a scheme which blessed them because of the ingenuity of it all. They decided to form a disco group, so that's how they ended up getting into Studio 54 because they're like, hey, we're a cute band. We, you didn't think we were cool enough to get in before, but now you can dance to our music, you bunch of bitches, right? And their name, just to make it even more pretentious, they named themselves Chic. Or is it Le Chic? 
Anyways, love them. Cute story. And I love disco. And I love all things fake, fabulous, and acrylic. You guys know my predilection for acrylic fixtures in my apartment. All of my art supplies on my desk are stored in acrylic drawers. My computer desk, the risers for my computer, all acrylic. Um, I wear huge, obnoxious acrylic earrings on occasion. And the nails, duh! So my line of acrylic pins is not acrylic it's acrylic acrylic okay so that's that on that and if you are wondering why to this day i only have two styles of acrylic pins that's uh easy that's because i'm lame and i don't like any of my artwork as an acrylic pin well let me that came out very poorly oh i hate my artwork no what i mean by that is that i have not as uh, found a piece of my artwork, any illustrations that I think would translate well into the format of an acrylic pin. Although, I'm thinking that my graveyard girl, the cover girl, you know, I made a sticker out of her because she's so cute. I'm going to try maybe to get a tester sample, or rather a sample to test of that pin to see how it looks. I think that one would look cute as a pin. I just think that the details might be a little bit too small, but these acrylic pins, they do a really good job of uh, printing them and having the details be very accurate and very detailed. So we'll see about that. Uh, we may have a new acrylic pin available early next year. But for now, I have this fabulous Retro Deco, my Vaporwave girl. She's the cover girl for Retro Deco. So there is that. We've got... Oh, let's see. I've been out of town for a while, and I always feel discombobulated when I get back. And I've just been so busy today that I'm like, oh, 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 my routine, my routine. It's been thrown off for packaging. Thank you, Bat. A business card, and we cannot forget the Coco Naughty business card. Thank you to everyone who is enjoying Coco Naughty. Uh, I've told you a million times that whether or not you shop there, you guys have been showing me so much love over there. Uh, you've been following me on Instagram. A couple of you have subscribed to the channel. And even if the clothes is not for you, even if the artwork is not for you, you enjoy showing your girl a little bit of love. And some of you have been getting inspiration from the color palettes and the fashion that I sell. So. If you're not into purchasing the clothes or purchasing the artwork, at the very least, you can get some inspiration from the funky goings-on that are going over there in terms of color palettes and fashion. So, Sabine, thank you so much for this adorable order. Uh, the safest way to package this one, because we've got Little Miss Retro Deco in there, we're just gonna shove it all into a bubble envelope. That seems to be the safest way to do things. You guys have not watched my previous vlog. I will spare you the gory details, but I recently purchased a thermal printer, and it is awesome. I've been telling you guys about it for the longest time, saying, oh, one day I'm going to stop being cheap. I'm going to purchase it because I need it for my businesses. Business is plural. I can't keep spending money on ink. And let me tell you, these thermal printers, oh, already, already she's saving me a ton of money on printer ink. So if you have a small business and you are considering a label printer, please do it. Don't be as dumb as I've been all these years and waited so long to get the thermal printer. Sabine, baby, thank you. Thank you to everyone who has made a purchase in the previous months because you guys all helped me make my life that much easier by allowing me to purchase this label printer, yeah. All right, next on the chopping block is the lovely, the fabulous, the incredible Casey. This order, we're getting super bittersweet now. Are we ready? We had Sabine over here who purchased one of my final originals, and in my previous vlog, you guys saw that some of my stickers are selling out, and one of my prints is soon to be retired. I've got one of those in the shop, one left my gothic spring print and now not one but two originals as of this moment i have one original illustration left in my etsy shop i recently uploaded an entire um it's not so much a rant but a a 
disappointed diatribe about my thoughts on Etsy and why I have finally decided to just leave the platform. Now, not all together, but for the most part, Etsy and I are uh, breaking up. So it feels good and I'm happy about it, but this is kind of it's kind of signaling the end of an era here. Uh, I told myself months ago, if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that I had a massive sale months ago to try to lighten the load of the artwork that I've had saved up in my art supply, or rather in my art storage closet. And I sold a lot of pieces for dirt cheap prices. I wanted to give people for the first time ever an opportunity to own pieces that were really inexpensive. I mean, under $15, they were 13, 15, ridiculous prices like that, because I wanted to give everyone an opportunity before I closed down my Etsy shop. And now my Etsy shop is not going away entirely, but for the most part, you can go ahead and watch that video or just stick around for future vlogs because I'll be talking about my transition more as we move into the next phase of my art career. Mm, so official, but um, I had said months ago that December 31st was going to be the last day that I was going to have originals left and we are creeping up on that date and we are creeping up on them being completely sold out. So Casey, thank you for this adorable order. We've got this, oh my gosh, it's blue. How, how many of you gasped and said, oh, she uses blue. I do use blue, I've told you guys, it's my least favorite color, but I do enjoy using it. I can compartmentalize. I am the queen of compartmentalizing for better or worse. I mean, read into that as much as you will, but we've got this cute little blue spooky thing. Aren't her eyes a little bit creepy? She's kind of like, oh, I'm a waif. I'm a little spooky waif, but then she's got these crazy eyes, right? She's just a little spooky girl. She's a little crazy. I love her. Glittery, fabulous. And then we have this precious lovely. This is one of the small pieces, the sketches that made it into the Spooklets sketchbook. Both of these actually made it into the Spooklets sketchbook. And what else is there to say? Oh, this one. This is a watercolor. The previous one that I packaged for Sabine, also a watercolor. This one is gouache. So I do paint frequently with gouache, but I rarely put my gouache art into my Etsy shop. Or Etsy shop. I rarely put my gouache paintings in my Etsy shop, or rather I rarely put my Etsy paintings in my Etsy shop when I was selling originals in there, because after this month, but I'll show you, I had been working on some gouache, mixed media, but mostly gouache paintings for my store, Coco Naughty. These are two of them, aren't they amazing? God, I love gouache. I love gouache. It's fabulous. It's so expensive. Oh, so expensive, but I love it. Uh, to be specific, I like gouache, but I like the acrylic gouache, and that one is so unforgiving. It's so expensive. It's like, what do I, why do I do these things? Why do I do these things? As someone who enjoys using cheap ass art materials, I also like to shoot myself in the foot by falling in love with expensive stuff. I just, I hate it. It's like, well, what is that that phrase? Champagne taste, lemonade budget. Hi, right here, right here, right here. Casey, let's get your order packaged up. She's probably like, can you just, can you shut up? Can you shut up? Although to be fair, by the time I upload this video, this order will likely already be in your little pause, my dear Casey. So here we go. We're just going to save on packaging materials here and have them share a bag. Bloop. And let's see here. Where are my seals? Come on. So those are my those are my goings on at the moment. That's the Etsy shop update. Again, there will be more updates on the Etsy shop. Why I cannot speak tonight? I've been speaking all day, which is hilarious, but I think it's because I've just been all day and my brain is firing on more cylinders than my mouth can handle. I, what else is new, right? Like welcome, welcome to my life. It's what I do. Let's get you a thank you bat business card and that coconutty card. 
and we are good to go. I actually have a couple of orders for, but you know what? I was going to say I have a couple of orders for uh, Coco Naughty and for Cat Eyes and Cacti, which are my other stores, but uh, today is not their designated day. I have a little bit of time to package, and but I'm, you know what? I'm not going to. I give all of my business, well, all of my shops their own designated days during the week. So even though I'm tempted to package everything while I'm sitting here, I need to be, I need to be a good, uh, a good, ugh, good boss bitch and be properly organized. So we'll save those for another day. And let's see, you, my darling, are not going international. So... Go ahead and put you. Let's see what envelope will you fit in? Will you fit in this one? No. Let's go ahead and get you a bubble mailer. I need to get some flats, some flat mailers. Those are so much easier to package artwork in. But do you want to hear my stupid reason for not using flat mailers? Because they're just not... I mean, white envelopes are pretty. I like white. I use a lot of white. I've told you guys a million times that one of my secrets to my funky apartment is I have a lot of white in here. White furniture and things like that. Uh, vases, just decor white. Because at night, I turn my colored lights on. Most of my light bulbs are remote operated and it's the color changing lights and I set my lighting to some degree of magenta-ish purple. So the white bounces off, or rather the, the light bounces off all of the white surfaces and so it, it helps me be in my little immersive 80s new wave fantasy bat cave. So there you go, Casey. Thank you for indulging my rant. <laughs> thank you all for listening to me. While I indulge my rant, I'm sorry if you've been hearing my my paintings over here jiggle. I have them on a little display rack. Uh, let's move on. Thank you, Casey. You're awesome. I hope you enjoy this order. Let's carry on with the vlog. FYI, FYI, right now that I have it within reach, I mentioned how much I'm in love with gouache, specifically acrylic gouache. I love all gouache, but acrylic gouache stole my heart. And if you're wondering what that is, I if you've never used gouache before and you are not a experienced painter, I would steer clear away from this stuff because it's rather it's not difficult to work with because the viscosity is such that it's easy to move around. It's a, a nice low well, it's not a super low viscosity paint. Well, it's like medium viscosity with good opacity which means that uh, it's not goopy and sticky and it has good coverage, like a gouache, right? That's what, I'm using big speak, okay? She's She pulled out the thesaurus today. Uh, but low-ish, medium viscosity with high opacity, but the price tag, mm, baby, horrible. Uh, it's by the brand Holbein. It's this. If I have a link to a set on Amazon, I'm gonna look for one and see if I can find one, although I will say, that they sell this everywhere. Any major art supply store, Jerry's Artorama, Blick, I mean all of them, right? So if you're curious about playing with it, just, I warned you, it's expensive and it dries quickly, so your your tubes, mm, you, you, gotta, you gotta baby these tubes. Every time you use them, well, when I use them, I wipe them very, as clean as I can, I was gonna say very clean, because you wanna avoid all of this crust here because this stuff, it dries out, and baby, the tears you will shed after having spent so much on this wash. You can see how expensive it is that I only have this quantity of it. Although, to be fair, I'm trying to keep my color palettes rather limited um, for aesthetic reasons, but you can see the artwork that I've been working on. We're going for a bright, neon, tropical 80s thing, so yeah consistency baby but that's my acrylic wash we are sneaking one more order into this vlog because i just got the ping for it yesterday so i thought all right all right all right let's squeeze one more in here so next up on the chopping block 
this is, I mean, technically the next day of filming the vlog, but whatever. Uh, we'll splice it in and it will make sense. Brooke, darling, Brooke, 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 if I'm remembering correctly, you are my tea baby, right? We always have little, little quick little quippy conversations about tea. She's a fellow Harney and Sons drinker, so hey, I, I believe I have the correct Brooke, right? I hope so. If not, just... But anyway, the lovely, the fabulous, the delicious Brooke has picked up... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. You all, today, I have had a day, let me tell you. So, I have been having... Well, you know what? We won't even talk about it. We won't even talk about it right now. Just let me... Let me... Let me package this and, and not spread any any bad vibes. Your girl is okay. I am okay. But it's just the stress. But we're good. I promise you we're good. This will make me feel better for the moment. So Brooke has picked up one of my lovely, adorable, precious, beautiful green Batgirl prints and a miniature sticker bundle. And just because I'm telling you all that today, 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 today has been a day. To be fair, uh, I've been having, I, I mean, I've been going through it since the middle of November. Then I got sick towards the end of November. Now it's a whole pile of other crap. So I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to add any more stress to my plate. So to ensure that nothing else goes wrong, I am going to package this art print a little bit more heftily than I normally do. It is going double duty with thick artboard this time because I just, I just, 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 just for my sanity, <laughs> I need to package it a little bit stronger. Uh, oh, I need the stickers. So yes, Brooke, my dear, if it looks as though and feels as though I went a little bit overboard on your packaging with the heavy duty boards, it's because I did. I just, I just don't need anything else. I don't need anything else to go wrong right now. I just don't. So we're nice and secure and she's gonna get wrapped in the purple. And you know what, just to be extra safe, let's go ahead and wrap the thank you bat in there and the business card all together. And there we go. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what? I hope you guys don't hate me for this. But the other orders, you know what? Did I even, did I insert any footage of any other orders this vlog? Because I just had a few orders go out a couple of days ago, but I don't know if I'm going to put that into this vlog footage now. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll, I'll just say it. Uh, since this is going to be the only order that I'm packaging and shipping out this week, all of the other ones have long been shipped out, I'm going to be giving out little freebies. Let me go through my box here. My little bat cupcake. This right here. Inspired by Brooke, this little addition to the packages because I'm just, I'm seeing a cupcake. And I'm actually drinking coffee and tea, and it just made me think of a tea cake. I would love to have a tea cake right now. So thanks to Brooke, anyone who orders for the remainder of uh, December, I'm going to be including a freebie little bat cupcake. This artwork is, it appears in my first coloring book, Spooky Sweets, if that looks familiar to anyone. Can't forget the coconutty plug in there. So Brooke, thank you for inadvertently inspiring a freebie for anyone who orders uh, from now until the end of December. I may be not feeling especially cheery. I mean, I'm never, I'm not much of a holiday person to begin with, but I'm feeling a little extra ugh this year. So just to make things a little bit brighter, I will give you guys a freebie. Now where the F, do not say that word, I don't like that word, but I will say F. Where the F are my stickers? Oh here, the stars. So thank you again, Brooke, my little tea baby, <laughs> for inspiring the little freebie. Cr 
cross your fingers and all extremities, please, that this arrives safely. <laughs> By the time this vlog is up, it will likely already be at its destination or very close to it. So, Brooke, thank you so much for your order. Now let's get on with the vlog. The art prints have arrived. The art prints have arrived. So, yes, Ms. Bat Princess, she's finally back. It has been over a year since I've had this art print in my store. I cannot believe that it's been that long. Uh, some of you may know that I have a diamond painting featuring this little lady. I have an entire series on my channel in which I completed that diamond painting. I do not sell that diamond painting. It is manufactured and distributed through Diamond Art Club. So if you are interested, head over to Diamond Art Club and pick it up. There's a link on my website if you are interested. But Ms. Bat Princess is back. I'm also going to be introducing a new print, which is, well here, I'll just show you. I'll show you the prints that are, let me grab one of each from the stock. So here's what's new and or returning. So Little Miss Bat Princess, she's coming back. New print, this little precious, I called her my autumn devil, but is she really autumnal? I mean, the colors maybe, but she's surrounded by roses and green leaves, so she's not really autumnal. Is she ish, kinda sorta ish, whatever. In my mind, she's autumnal, but this little lady, is now in the shop. This has a coordinating sticker. The sticker has been in my shop for a while, but it took me a while to get the prints in. And then Mr. Michael, part of my Space Queens series, Michael Jackson as Captain EO, that is back. That recently sold out, so that is back. And this one, of course, Selena Quintanilla as part of my Space Queens series. So let's get these prints signed, bagged up. And then let us proceed with the vlog. I think this might actually, is this going to be the end of the vlog? I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe. Mm, let's just sign the prints. We shall see. Of course, I am a dingus and I have to sign the prints with a matching pen. I've always done that. All of my signed art prints have coordinating ink. These prints, by the way, are my glossy prints. Fabulous thick cardstock. Well, it's not cards. Well, is it card? I suppose it is. It's a print stock. Very thick, gorgeous glossy paper. The colors really just mmm. They're gorgeous on this paper. Uh, I I want to I want to sign this one in a minty green or. Uh, the orange might be too gold. That might look cute, though. I Ooh, I have... No, this might be a bit too dark. I have this metallic green, which might be kind of cute. Ooh, I have a metallic brown. I mean, ooh, she's excited over a brown. No, it's just... I never use these pens. Ooh, let's see. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I need a... Uh, I need a tester paper. Okay. Uh, that's a little. There's some of that color on her skirt, though. That all of these match, honestly. Dang it, the struggle. Ooh, the green is cute, though. I'm liking this one. Oh, this is this is. She's, there's a struggle over neutrals. Are you serious? You know what, we're gonna go with the gold glitter. I mean, I mean, oh, but look at this. Look at this, look at this. I never use this. Oh, God. Ooh, that's pretty. Shoot, what are we going to sign it in? This metallic burgundy berry. It's like a reddish berry color or Gosh, they both look cute. Let's just go with the sparkle. I, I just, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. And this one is going to get a, you would think I would go with a purple, but I, I almost want to go with a red. Let's see. 
I mean, that's a cop out, right? It looks good. Wah, easy. That's not quite right. How about the black with the red glitter? That's the one. All right, so we'll sign Bat Princess in that. Autumn Girl, and then these, I've always signed these in the purple. So, the bluish purple. Okay, let's sign these prints. Yes, okay, the year technically is not over yet. However, I am dying to start working on my next coloring book. I've already finished all of the artwork for one coloring book that's going to be released in 2023, but I would really like to get a jump on the new one. And as the year is winding down, I thought, well, let's go ahead and get started. So not only do I need to work on that, but I also have to refresh my patreon welcome package for those who uh, join my patreon at the color fiend tier which are the people who are interested in my exclusive coloring pages they receive a packet of artwork i may have mentioned this at the beginning but if i didn't i'm reiterating and as part of their welcome package they get an exclusive set of coloring pages so i would like to update it as i have had the same one for what a year now so i think every year i'm going to update the welcome packet so here we go, let's go ahead and christen our new sketchbooks. And because I recently created new stickers for my brand Cat Eyes and Cacti, that we could plop those onto my sketchbook. So are we gonna do double the stickers? No, but, oh God, are we gonna open both of them? I suppose so. So if you've been watching my vlogs, a while back I did a whole vlog in which I, uh, well as part of that vlog, I shopped for art supplies. I spent about $100 and I saw, let's see, how far can we stretch these $100? I purchased Copic markers, I purchased sketchbooks, and it all worked out great. And these were the sketchbooks that I purchased. The first one is going to be this lovely square. I enjoy square, oh, you know what? Do you hear this? That incessant, ugh, it's my paintings that I have sitting over here. Oh, this one, this one. And one that I started a while back and simply have not started painting, it's my Semi spooky though, not really bright, tropical, retro inspired lovelies. Ugh, they're over here. You know what? You guys are so loud. That you're gonna, you're, you're gonna have to just sit this one out for a second while I. There, oh, the silence. Okay, <laughs> those will be for sale on my website, Coco Naughty, by the way, if you are interested. But let's get these open. Oh, see the the claws. Ugh, claws are so useful. How do you do anything with those claws? How do you function? Quite easily, if you can see, they're actually quite utilitarian. Thank you very much. So the first sketchbook is going to be, and I will have this linked down below if you would like to scoop one up. I purchased them on Amazon. I did most of my art supply shopping through Blick, but I found these on Amazon because Blick didn't really have what I wanted and I just was curious, to be honest. So I have done a square notebook or rather sketchbook in the past. In fact, I have it right here on my stack of sketchbooks. Ugh, come on, come on. When was this? This was the, I think this is the dupe, honestly, to this sketchbook. This is, do you guys remember this? <laughs> there should be a sketchbook tour up for this one. This is the Illo sketchbook. It's a gray sketchbook, pretty much the same size. They're, they're identical. Uh, this sketchbook, uh, do I have the, oh God, I haven't opened the sketchbook in ages. Ah, that's so bad. I need to revisit my old sketches or my old sketchbooks to see if I have any good ideas in there that I can revisit. I don't date my sketchbook, so I would say this was probably 2020. Uh, no, 2019 maybe. Who knows? But right around there. It's a few years ago. And so I wanted to revisit the square format, this time with the dupe 
because the other one was gray. Here's the thing. Let me share. Let me share. Let me share. So this one was, was it earlier than 2019? 2018? Gosh, who knows? In any case, it's gray, which I don't mind the gray, honestly. But this, ew, it's blue. Yuck, 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 yuck. This one, on the other hand, is purple and black. Although I already see something that I dislike on the cover. This is Artica. The purple I like. Ooh, this is a flimsy, flimsy elastic. Don't care for that. And I see this here, Artica. I mean, it's it's a cute logo, I guess. And I'm going to cover it with my stickers anyway, but ew, uh, stop advertising on my notebook or my sketchbook. Why do I keep calling it notebook? Feels nice. A uh, little bit of damage here with the elastic, but who cares? This, ooh, the color is nice. This is my shade of purple, this eggplanty warm purple. I hate the little doodles, though. I mean, they're cute, but I want to cover my sketchbook with my shit, not yours, okay? This is too much branding for me. Ooh, create better. Blah. Okay, don't want that. Uh, and just some information. I like the paper stock. Nice job on the branding, but it's a little it's a little overboard for me. I don't this too much. I like a blank slate. But so far it feels to be on par with the Illo. I like it. The paper feels nice and smooth. It's definitely not going to take water well, but neither did the Illo, nor are they billed as being for water media, but you know me. I do what I want. So that one feels good so far. I like, I like. And then the next one is the Tumuarta. This is more of a rectangular format. Clear, more of a, no, it is, you dingus. It's a rectangle. Uh, lots of pages in this one. And this one is specifically a marker sketchbook. The cover is fine. It's a slightly textured. It, you know what it kind of looks like? This is kind of gross. And apologies in advance, but it almost looks like flesh, like dry human skin. Ew, you know when you get ink on your fingers, uh, as in with a stamp pad or with ink or whatever, and then you stamp it on paper? Ugh, it looks like skin. Ew. The elastic is much nicer on this one. Better quality and tighter, which I appreciate because if you're constantly opening and closing your sketchbooks, the elastic does matter. Much better. Plain branding. It would have been cool if it were a color, though. Uh, green would have been nice or black because the oh this paper is very thin it's almost concerning how thin it is oh no 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 that is concerning ideal for acrylic okay it's, I'm not making this up it says ideal for alcohol marker which fine acrylic what gouache what Dry media colored pencil and more. I get that, but gouache? Baby, this is gonna bleed. Ooh, this is concerning. And uh, where's the sketchbook that I'm currently using right now, which I need to film my sketchbook tour for? This paper is what I was expecting. When I saturate the paper, with marker. This is marker. This is what I expect. It bleeds through, but it doesn't make a mess. Uh, this is saturated with water. It's crinkly, right? That one's pure marker. Let me find one in which I used watercolor. This one is a, a watercolor marker. Saturated, crinkly. This is a good quality. I may have to reorder this one then. This is the Ohuhu. And I was bitching that this one resembled fur. This one resembles fur and this one resembles, resembles flesh. Gross, what is up with that? Is there some weird like furry flesh fetish going on with the sketchbook manufacturers? I don't know. But uh, I'm a little concerned about this one, to be honest. So many pages though, which is good. But, uh, and I like the little, the green, which is why I thought, you know, green and paper or black would have been nice, but we'll see how it goes. I will, of course, have this one linked down below as well, but I am definitely concerned about this one. Now, the one good thing that I will say is that it absolutely will get super, super crinkly. So if I do any sort of water-based media artwork in this with any frequency, this is going to turn into a giant, it's going to look like a medieval tome at the end of this. It's going to be all crinkly. 
uh, which is fine, but I'm definitely concerned because I was really hard on this sketchbook this year. It traveled with me, I used it a ton, and you can see it held up very well. I mean, we're down to the very end of the sketchbook. And as a matter of fact, I will not be using it anymore. I've got uh, two blank pages in the back, which I typically use as testers. So that's going to remain that way unused for now it's done. That's my 2022 sketchbook. So these are going to be my babies for 2023. You, I'm having some having some feelings about you though, this one, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and christen the sketchbooks then, shall we? These stickers, because they were released so late in 2022, I'm just going to put them in as 2023 for my 2023 sketchbook decor. I tend to consider anything after the middle of November to be the next year. It's just the last 30 days of the year, yeah, you know. So that's that on that. Are we gonna do, are we gonna try to fill one up? Oh look, they both match the format. How cute, that's what we'll do. We'll put the square one on the square and then the rectangle on the rectangle and then we'll just decorate as we see fit. These are breeze blocks, if you did not know. Uh, it's an architectural feature that was prominent in the 50s and 60s and a touch through the 70s as well, but it was certainly primarily a 50s and 60s thing prevalent out here in Palm Springs. As a matter of fact, if you watch my, my vlog segments in which I speak to the camera, you can often see I have breeze blocks that I've purchased and put inside my apartment as decor. They are just quintessentially Palm Springs. I love them. And yeah, that's, that's that on that. I love breeze blocks, so I made stickers. Come on, come on. Should we go like that? Like that? I think I kind of like the idea of going like this. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so this one will go right. Cuteness, I like. Okay, so we have officially christened our friends for 2023. So you will be seeing much of these in the coming year. You, baby, you might have to earn my love a little bit, but I'll give you a chance. All right. Let's get on with the vlog. We have reached the end of the vlog. This was a long one, I have to say. I think at this point, even after editing, I don't do a whole lot of editing with my vlogs. I'm just not, it's not a whole production over here. I mean, I am a big old production, but I try to not complicate the YouTube part of my life because why? We keep things casual and scrappy. So, you know, not much editing, but I already know that it's going to be at least 45 minutes long i think closer to an hour so anyways this is going to be the end of the vlog thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope that you enjoyed it i know it was a bit all over the place we did a excuse me little choky chokies here <clears throat> we got a lot done in this vlog i did quite a bit and we i mean it was basically a couple days of work and then i jumped ship for a little while and then i came back and it was a couple more days of work and it was just it was a lot so Welcome to my life. I'm always busy. I'm always toiling away. And I thank you so much for being here. My YouTube subscribers, love you. Anyone who's a YouTube subscriber and who follows me on Instagram, double one of those for you. And a big, fat, sloppy, juicy thank you to my fabulous, wonderful Patreon patrons over on Patreon. You've been very patient with me over the previous couple of months. I know that I have not been posting too much. And uh, it's just... I was ill and then this month, we are in December now, it's just ever since I fell ill back in November, nothing has been right. Everything has just been, ugh, the sky is falling on me, right? But I'll be okay, just give me a couple of weeks to get back on track and then we will be just fine. Hopefully, at least we'll be back on schedule, which is fine. So thank you again to everyone for hanging out, for watching, Patreon patrons, love you. Uh, be bad, be good, I don't give a damn which. Just make sure you come back in one piece and I will see you all in the next one. Oh yeah, take a look down below. Everything you need to know will always be down below, but you knew that already, right? Okay, bye. Shoo, 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 my nasties. I will see you in the next one.